With the price of fuel absolutely skyrocketing, it is no surprise that more people are turning to electric in cars. But for bikes, they haven't really quite caught on. They haven't quite equaled what a petrol machine would do. But there's a lot more coming to the market. A new are looking to take on one of the biggest sector on two wheels, and that is the scooter market with this, the MQI GT Evo. So why would you buy an electric bike? Well, for a scooter, chances are you don't want nonsense. And that is exactly what something like this will offer. So you've got no grease, you've got no fuel, you've got very little servicing costs, you've got very little moving parts. Really, the only thing you'd need to keep an eye on is your general diagnostics and your tire pressures. So this is comparable to, say, Yamaha's M-Max. So it's more on the premium end of the 125cc scooters. So for that, you get a five kilowatt motor, which is good for 60 mile an hour at least. But there's also two lower power modes, which brings it down to 45 mile an hour, 30 mile an hour, just to extend the range and give it a little bit more battery life. On the subject of the batteries, there are two batteries that are stored under the seat. You can charge them both together just with a standard three piece plug and they'll charge from zero to 100% in about five hours. But if you want to just do a little top up sort of from 40, 50% up to 100, it's a lot less. And if you have it on charge for an hour, new tell us that it'll probably give you about 10 to 15 miles of range. So if you're looking to do a commute and just want to sort of have a little charge about lunch and then have enough charge to get you home it will do the job and it's just a standard three pin plug that you can keep under the seat it's also worth mentioning that you can remove these batteries they're quite heavy they sort of sit around 10 to 12 kilos so they're pretty chunky and pretty big but you can take them out and charge them in your house so if you park it and park your bike on the street or if you're in say if you're in a set of flats and the parking's downstairs you've got no power you can take them up and charge them in your house which yeah, it's a really, really good feature on a bike like this. Talking of features, they say this is a premium 125 and as a premium 125, it does come with some really nice bits. So start you get Bluetooth connectivity, which you can connect up to the new app, which gives you a whole host of adjustability. So you can change your engine modes on the fly, change the keyless ignition, how that works. You can even change the sensitivity of the security system and the alarm. So you can sort of make it a little bit more sensitive or a little bit less sensitive, depending on where you are. Alongside the app, it also has a few really nice features that I like, such as you get a USB port as standard and for a 125cc scooter, I was really impressed to see it actually has cruise control. So if you're doing a bit of dual carriageway work, of course it won't have as much range because you'll be going a bit quicker, but you can sit on the cruise control and it really is a, an easy to use intuitive system that really does the trick and yeah, it's a welcome addition. We've been riding this today, we've done a bit of dual carriageway work, done a bit of town work and we've also done a little bit of B road work and it's exactly what I hoped it would be, exactly what I expected it to be. So it's super smooth, spent a lot of time in sport mode, which is sort of the highest power, uh, lowest range mode, and it's very, very responsive for 125cc scooter. Like near enough all of the recent electric bikes I've ridden, it is super smooth on the pickup, but it doesn't run out of steam, it gets up there nicely and keeps on going. If you're looking to do some bigger roads and some um, sort of longer stretches, it is really good for 60 mile an hour and I've actually had it almost up to 70 so yeah it will look after you. It handles as well as an electric scooter will, it's 130 kilos and the battery's on top so it's not exactly a small bike, the seat height's fairly high as well but it handles as well as it should, it's stable and to be honest the best part about it is just how nimble it is, as a scooter should be, it's as nimble as its competitors and it's really easy to get it turned around and get it in and out of traffic which is exactly what this bike is designed for. So this is new range topping scooter and it really is a trick bit of kit with loads of nice bits on it but there are a few little niggles I had with it today. So the main one for me is you might have seen that I was wearing a backpack while I was riding so I only ever do that when I'm on a motorbike but on a scooter, I do expect there to be a bit of underseat storage and because of where the batteries are placed, you just don't have that. I've been talking to New and you can take out one of the batteries for a little bit more storage, but of course then that drastically reduces your range. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame, but there's nowhere else they can put them batteries. Another thing that this misses that some of its competition has is a lack of ABS. Now, I don't really have a problem with it. I quite enjoy having a bike without it. It gives you more feel on the brakes, I feel like. But if you're a little bit less confident, it can be a bit of a safety barrier if you're looking out for it. In all honesty, I didn't miss it at all, but 
if safety is something you're worried about, that is obviously something that doesn't come on this bike. It is not a requirement for anything under 125. And New was saying that they didn't put it on because of a shortage of ABS systems. So it will be coming in the future, but currently on this model, it does not have it. And the only other minor things that sort of did bug me a little bit is just like a little bit of the finish. So the one thing that did it for me was the stands, the side stand doesn't quite sit right for me and the centre stand sticks out a bit. But aside from that, it's a really nice bike. It's made for town work, it's made for city work and it does that perfectly. You get no noise, you don't have to chuck fuel in it every two or three days. It's got loads of tech on it as well and to be honest, Oh, we've been riding for quite long, we've been doing photo and video stops, we've sort of, I've been sitting, I've been leaving it on because I'm silly and I'm still sitting at 60%. I tried it in the lower modes earlier and it was a bit too restrictive for me, it feels more like a 50cc but in the sports mode it feels like a proper bike, it gives you a good amount of range, it's a good price and to be honest it really does tick all my boxes.